Hello, this is Christian. In this video, we're going to take a look at how component communications work in React.js. So uh, I show you in this diagram here, three components, the parent component, which is this yellow uh, box up here. I have a child A component and a child B component. So these two are sibling components, okay? So I have here um, the color of the arrows just uh, to indicate that the flow of data from the parent down to the child component, it flows in this direction in the red arrows, okay? And then the child to the parent component is following the blue uh, arrows come from the child up here and likewise. And a communication between two child components, you can't really just pass data across. Uh, there are other ways to do that, but we're gonna do it this way using what's called a mediator. So a mediator is really nothing than a, a parent component that will actually hold the state or the data that can be passed between the two components. So in order for child A to pass its data to child B, the data would then go up to the um, parent component, update its data or whatever it needs to do. And then the parent component then pass A's data down to the uh, other component, in this case, child B. So in this little app example, I'm gonna show you two different states or different uh, data. One is gonna be the parent data, another is the child data, and this will be in a state uh, object. And then we're gonna pass the data from the parent down to the child A, so you, so that you will see the data of the parent uh, coming from the parent, you know, being displayed here in the child component. So that when I make changes to the parent component here in the input tag, that data will be updated in the state and then it will propagate down to the child component here, okay? That's the parent to the child component. And then the other way around is that I'm gonna have a child component have a input tag in here uh, to um, you know, make some changes. And we're gonna pass the data from the child component up to the parent component. It will update the child A data up here in the parent component so that when I make changes to the, to the child input here, the data will also reflect instantly in the parent component here, okay, right? And then likewise, we're gonna pass the data that is coming from the A component here down to the B component. So the B component will show both the data from the parent and, and from the child A. So uh, once you understand this logic, how data can be passed between the components, you can have a better understanding of how they work. All right, so let's go and take a look how this is looking in React.js. So here in the IDE, let me just go over this a little bit with you and then we'll do the coding. So I have the app component here. It's a class component um, that has a prop and have a state. The state has two properties, have a parent data that is assigned with the value of parent. A child data has the value of child A. Let me get a little bit small, you can see here. Okay, child A. And then I render the, I will render the this data, both the child and the parent data, to these two tags here. And then um, we're gonna pass the parent data down to the child component here. Okay, so the child A component is inside another uh, component called children.js. This file is this one on the right side. Over here, I have two components. Uh, one is called the child A, the other is child B. So look at the child A first. We don't focus too much on the HTML stuff here. I'm gonna pass the data from the parent down to the child via the props property. Or object, and I will render the content between the uh, brackets here in the parent tag. And then when I do a child passing data up to the parent, I'm gonna update the input tag here so we can read some data input here. I'm gonna update some a function call, send the data back up to the parent, and then we're gonna update the child data so that if you make changes in input, data goes up here and then reflect in the change right here as well. Okay, and then the other one is when we do the child A pass data to child B, you have to go through, right, the same process, passing data from here to the parent. And then the parent, we're gonna render a child B component right down here, we pass the A's data down to the B component, just like you pass, you know, the parent down to the A component, same idea. And then we're gonna render both the parent and A's data right into the child B component. Okay, and I have it here, I have two of these components in the same file called children.js, and you can have as many components as you want. And you can export all of them at once by using the export uh, um, directive like this. You just put inside a curly braces like this, 
And each of these is a, a component that you can expose or export to other components in addition to a default component, okay? All right, so let me go ahead and uh, make some spaces, some room here. I just wanna focus on the A component for now, all right? So we don't have too much distraction. Let's do it like that, here we go. Okay, so on the left side, I'm gonna go and collapse this column. So we have more spaces. Now I'm gonna go and then render the content, you know, parent and child to this text down here. So in the parent, I'll put here, um, well actually, you know, make sure let me run the app first. Yeah, it's already running. You can see here, it's uh, running, there's no content here, all right? So I'm gonna go and uh, do that. And you know what, let me just do something like this. Okay, so we can, I'm gonna just do um, like that so we have space, right? So the uh, child component, I mean the parent component, I'm gonna render the content right in here. Put here, this, that, state, that um, parent data. So now you should see live data coming in right here already, okay? Uh, and, and the child will be the same. But now I'm gonna pass the data down to the child component, all right? So to do that, you, you go to the uh, child aid uh, tag and you pass in a variable called parent data. This data can be anything you want. This variable, just whatever you pick. And then you pass the data coming from the this.state.parentData. Okay, so you have pass data here to a property called parent data. And this parent data is now attached to the child component. Actually, let me go and open that over here. Okay, so we open the A component here. It comes to the props, and then I'll render that into this tag here. So we access the props dot parent data. And that should be rendered right here, as you can see. Okay, so passing data from the parent, down to the child. That's how you do it, through the props object. Now, remember that one feature for the prop is that data coming in like this to the props are only readable. You cannot change the data, meaning like I cannot go here and do this. So parent that parent data, I cannot change to something else, okay? If you do that, React will crash and you cannot see anything here until you press F12 and look at the console. It will tell you, it says, you go all the way up, it says you cannot assign read-only data, okay? So the props is only read readable, which is good because if you don't do that, chances are you might even overwrite a function. That's a big problem, right? So that's why props are only readable. Okay, so that's how you pass data from the parent down to the child. And then now just one more implementation, I'm gonna make this input tag in the parent, input tag right here, so that when I type something here, it's going to update the parent and then at the same time, and the child component, okay? It's a very simple implementation. So I'm gonna go and do it on change. I'm gonna assign that to a function I will create call update parent. Okay, again, notice you don't invoke the function here, you call it later, Time. It's an event, right? So up here, so normally you um, have done this. I show you to do this. So like this dot update parent is equal to this dot update parent. You have to bind it so you can use in the state. Okay. And then over here, you will create a function called update parent, right? And then like that. And then it takes a, a I think, a parameter called e, what do you call event? It doesn't matter. And then here you will bind the data uh, to the, uh, I mean, update this parent data using this dot set state. And inside this function, you pass in the parameter called parent data. Okay, I sign that with the event dot target dot value. Okay, I think that's it for this one. So that when I make changes here, that you see that the data is changing right instantly in the parent component it also passes down to the, uh, the, the child component uh, right in here, and it changes right in here as well. So you've done this before, you know this is done, all right? So now the other way around is now we're gonna go from the child up to the parent. Okay, so this time I'm gonna update the child. So let me go ahead and here add this, uh, child data. So you see that now child data is now present here. 
And I'm gonna update this data from the child component. So to do that though, you cannot just send data directly like you would do this way. Okay, what you do is you have a function somewhere up here on the parent component that will receive the data from the child component. And you update the data. Okay, so up here, I'm going to create another function. This function is gonna call update child. Put update child like that. Again, it will take an event. Um, or if you want, you call event, you call it data, doesn't matter. Uh, depends how you do, depends where you get the data from. Um, so if you want to just call that new data, let's, let's call it data, okay? Instead of passing the event, we're going to perform the event inside the local component, and it will pass us the data back up here. And then up here, you can do the same thing. So this, that, um, set state, and then we're changing the uh, child data, and I sign that with data, okay? And then again, make sure you bind it this way. Now, another way to do this, if you don't want to write it twice, is you just simply change this to an arrow function like this. And that's it, All right? So I could have done the same thing with this one here, right? I could turn this off and change it into an arrow function. Okay, just like that. You see that it's it should work just fine, okay? If you don't do the binding this way, just do the arrow function and, you know, either way, uh, it'll be fine. So I'll use arrow function in this example. All right, so we got the function to update the child data. Now, in order for the child to pass the data back, you must pass this function down to the child component so you can, so the child component can use it, can update or pass the data back up here. So again, it's just like callback function, right? So over here, down here, I'm gonna add another uh, a property, I'll call it, um, you can call the same name if you want. It doesn't have to be. I'll call the same name, update child. I'm assign that with this dot update child function. Okay, so this is a function. This is just a variable data. Okay, so now in the child component over here, so I have a reference to a function called update child. In the child component, want to make some changes here. So it will be like before on change, I'm gonna uh, update the data. So I showed you earlier that you can, if you update like the E like you do here, then you could just call the props dot parent, I mean, uh, props dot update child like this, right? I could do that. Maybe let's try that first, okay? Let's try that approach first and then we'll try the other approach. So all I'm doing is I'm attaching the function that was passed from the parent down to this child via the prop object. And then when I make changes to this function, this, this right here, oops. When I make changes here, it's gonna call this function called update child, which is this one right here. And this is a, a reference to the actual function here, right? So if I change it back to like above um, event, and then over here, and then I'll be like event uh, target uh, data, I mean value, right? So it'll be just like before, like above. So this target here is really this input tag, right? So let's see if this will work. If I go here, put H -H, you can see that I'm typing data in the parent and the child component, right? But the data is propagated up through this function, which is attached to this variable. This variable is assigned with the update child function here. This function receives the event from this tag called input tag. You grab the data from that tag, which is in the child component, and you update the child data this way. So the process is very similar. The only dif difference is where is this target coming from, okay? So that's how you would update uh, or pass data from the child up to the parent. What I did here is I did exactly, you know, very simply like that. You could also do this. If you want to manipulate data first before you update it and pass the parent, you can then create a function up here. For example, you can say something like const update. Okay. And then uh, you can do also error function. That's fine. Like that. 
you put e in here for event or just e and then here you could do something like let uh, data is equal to event dot target dot value right maybe i want to uppercase all of them so you can do like uh upper is it two upper um oh, i don't remember let's see if they hope oh, that's correct okay and then i can then pass the data up to this function so instead of doing here i'll put it right here update i pass the data to that now if i do this way so notice the data is the actual data and not an event so if i do it this way i have to change the data here just call it data and then i just assign that with data because that is already the data right um okay i probably put a bunch of error here so let's see yeah, okay, unchange. And then here I need to bind to this function. So not this one here, but this function local to the child A component. So I just put here the um, update, All right? So uh, let's see if uh, this is correct. I probably had it incorrect um, for the uh, upper here, but uh, let's see if I do, yeah, it's incorrect. Um, let's see, if uppercase maybe. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, let's do this way. Maybe, yeah, I could probably do that here. Or maybe it's, you, you can't attach it to the value. You probably have to wrap it or something. Let's do it here. Uh, to upper case. Okay, will that work? Um, let's refresh this page. Okay. Yeah, so there we go. Um, yeah, it has to be a text for some reason. I didn't like that one. Okay, so you, now you can see that I, you know, I change the data here, but I also update or manipulate my data before I push that up to the parent, right? So it's the same idea, except you pass the data there as opposed to the event. So that's how you pass data from the child up to the parent. Very simple like that. And so the next one is we're gonna pass data from the child A to the child B. And so let me go over here and turn on the child B component right, right below here. And we'll call this the child B. Again, these are just some CSS I already added earlier. So I have just basically changed the color background. And this will be the child B component, okay? Um, I need to import that up here. So let's do the import of child B. So here we go. So I'm gonna pass the data of which I already did from the parent. And I also need to pass data for the child. Uh, a, so I don't need to do any updates in the B, okay? So basically, I'm just gonna do, do something like this. So I'll put uh, child, um, I'll just call it child data. So with we'll this dot child data, okay? I pass both data down to the child B component and then let me go ahead and remove this spaces. I'm gonna update the child B component. Real simple, just like before, props dot, um, this is the parent data, and then same thing here, props dot child data. And that's it, right? Because it's just re receiving data. And if you're gonna pass data from the child, you know, be here up to the parent, you would do exactly the same as you did with this thing here. It needs to go through a function, okay, an event. Um, I mean, if you are reading from the input tag, if you don't read the input tag, you just pass data directly from your code, then just call the props and then call the function that was passed to it, okay? So here, uh, if I go and type uh, A in the parent, let's put here, um, hello world, that's from the parent and the child, hi there, okay? Um, it, it updates up here, but it did not do down here. So I'll probably do something correct. Let's see, uh, the child A, um, this, oh, this state, that child data. Here we go. Okay, so we have from the B here, go. Hello from A. So here we go, it's all uppercase. And then you pass data from the child A to the child B via a mediator like this. All right, so, um, yeah, that's how React uses. And there's another way, uh, I'll do a, maybe I'll do a different video to show you 
how you can pass data using just functional components as opposed to the class component, right? So um, hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.